Deep in the Amazon, the dirt runway appears, a village off limits to most time travelers. We are cautiously welcomed as this tribe is sitting on a secret that could change the world. As we leave the airport, we are confronted with the reality of life in Haiti. A tent city lines the airport grounds. It's a long journey full of many dangers, including this, the Suchate River, which many drown trying to cross. I was here answering a different call. I had taken a DNA test back home that told me I'm genetically linked to the Hausa people of northern Nigeria. My African ancestors may have come from here. A minute later, this is what it looks like, the tsunami in its full force. Buildings are collapsing. The water is racing inland. Even though Masaka has no idea the tsunami has hit, she realizes the only way to safety is on foot. We gotta get out. So I pull her arm and then start walking like this. Perhaps the most important moment of her life took place here. So we're not, we not angling, we're not get angling. Hidden deep in the rainforest after miles of hiking. The entrance to the cave appears. Its name in English is Tomb of the Stone Burial, and you'll soon see why. But getting inside is not easy. At the entrance, very cold, deep water. And then, a journey into the Portal of the Gods, as the Mayans called it. So the mother is saying that she didn't go to school today because she doesn't have any money and she has two children, Derek and Daphne, but she doesn't have any money to take them to school. Mm. I think that's what we say, that $20 in the States could mean, I don't know what, an outing or a lunch. But yeah, it's a whole year for a child to go a to school. A whole education mm -hmm. here. First time when I saw that, I wish that picture not taken. Because that little girl, I feel like ugly and embarrassed. I have seen this picture countless of times before we came on this trip. It was like it was a whole new picture after hearing Kim's story. 